guys, welcome back to Table Talk here on SourceFed. I am Sam Basher. You know me. I love to talk about the Flash, and I am close to passing. Oh my god, your lips are blue! Your lips are blue! I'm... Are you okay? Yes, I'm in it. Guys, don't do this. Three, two, one, finger guns. On the Table Talk... Okay, I'm back to normal now. Thank you so much. Okay. On Table Talk today, I got the lovely Candace. Everybody do a round of applause for Candace. Everybody do a round of applause for Candace. There you go. You got it. <laughs> I hope they put the hold in there where I have to hold into my breath. And also, my Garrett. Yeah! There it is. Everybody's a little hesitant and everyone's got to be on their game. I'm the one that's got the helium in my brain. I'm not going to be firing at all. Cylinders. Cylinders. Thank you so much. But also thank you to our sponsor today's episode. It's Full Sail University. If you've ever considered working behind the scenes to create video games, Full Sail University offers a variety of programs that can prepare you for a future in that industry. Full Sail University has offered game programs for more than a decade yeah. and many of their grads have worked on oh, titles. Oh, I know this one. Uh, Black Flag. No, no, no. Destiny. Well, you're right. Destiny. I am. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Destiny. Game. The Call of Duty series, yep. Far Cry 4, yep. and many more. Life. That's the many more. <laughs> uh, Full State University uh, students receive a laptop along with game industry software uh, at a deep, deep institutional discount. So look out for that. Visit fullsale.edu slash sourcefit to learn more. Thank you so much. I just want to do um, voices for video games. Yeah? Ooh. Yeah. Can you go to school? I don't think you can go to school for that specific. Like, you know what, voice though? Over for video I don't know games. if you've noticed this, but in this day and age, you have to do everything. You have to be able to program and code and animate and do the voices. And be a good host at a party. And I don't know if I can do all those things. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I will fly, I'll make my way through it. When was the last time you hosted a party, Sam Basher? <laughs> when was the last time? When was the time I hosted a yeah. party? Yeah, I've yeah. never done that before. Me neither. Would you ever voice a video game character? Of course, yeah. And if you I would, would what would it Ooh, be? What? <laughs> Um, what the character would be? I don't mm. know. I don't play video games, but I'd love to be a voice. <laughs> maybe a cart. Maybe like a, a weird cat, like an animal. Ah. <laughs> I want to be the voice of an animal. I'd be a hedgehog. Like an NPC. Mm -hmm. I'd be a hedgehog. Is that I your hedgehog voice? Mm -hmm. He'd be wise. And he be... I hope that gets animated just like that. Oh, okay, I, I guess no one's supportive it. here at this table for my dreams. <laughs> I think you did a really good hey, job. That's cool. Would you mind pulling so the first Sonic question? So Sonic the Hedgehog's voice is going to be that? I'd be... <laughs> a new Sonic the Hedgehog voice. Got it. He's retired. He's, yeah, he's chilling. He's met someone nice. They've settled down. He's slowed down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's really slowed down. <laughs> what we got? All right. What animal... Wow, how appropriate. Mm -hmm. What animal would you prefer to transform into at any time at your will? Mm -hmm. My will. At my will. Here you go. Can't be a sea creature because that's just not... If you live by the beach. But d yeah, where are we right now? Pretty close to the beach. And if I turn into a dolphin right now? I mean, is it like a sneeze? You can do whatever you like. You can try to hit Andres. He's on his phone right oh, now over okay. there on his phone. I'm Andres is on his phone. I just, just brushed oh, it. No, no, no. <laughs> hit Andres' okay. phone and knock his phone out of his hand. Apparently, this is entertaining enough oh. for him. Oh, interesting. Oh, no, yeah, now you're watching, aren't you? Hmm. Animals. Called him out. Disappointing. Mm -hmm. Animal. Yeah, we're 30 minutes from flight, the beach. I think a flight animal would make the most sense. Like a mosquito? But I would still like to be a carnivorous beast. Mm. Like a mosquito? Hmm. What, how many humans does it eat? I mean, it sucks, but it doesn't quite eat, True. does it? Mm -hmm. I want to be able to growl. Mm. I want to be able to pounce. Mm. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to claw someone to death and be wow. like, oops, just changed. My bad. Oh, wait, oh, like you don't have control. Like it's like oops. a werewolf kind of thing? Oops. This is a spirit animal where you're like, <laughs> oops. Mm -hmm. I just want to be like a blood, fish, a, fish. a fish floating in the water. Mm -hmm. But like, the thing is, you change now. And it's like, oh. Or she could go. No, it's like a you control. Obviously, with the spirit animal, you can uh, go home, we'll fill up a bathtub. Yeah, I can go home, fill up a bathtub, swim in the bathtub. Uh -huh. That's it. I just think fish are just like good, good and cool. That's what I think with like seals. I'd be like, an, yeah. like a seal. I'd be like the ones that like are on the rocks or on the mm -hmm. docks. They're like, yeah. Just have you seen, there. You have you seen Finding Dory? Yeah, like the, the third friend. Yeah, I'd be that guy with the <laughs> unibrow and there's Oi, the picture. Come up here, you know, yeah. Idris Elba. Gerald, sexy yeah. Gerald, Gerald. Yeah. Gerald. <laughs> that sexy cool yeah. voice of Idris Elba. Oh my gosh, he is the greatest voice of an animal. He's so done far. two this year. No, yes. he's done three this year. What's the third? He did Jungle Book he and did. he did Zootopia. 
and he did. Was it? Uh, in Jungle Book, he was Shere Khan. He was he the was tiger. Who was he? Uh, who was uh, Idris Elba? Idris Elba. Oh, I see. I didn't. I heard. Oh, Jim. Oh, like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, so Got it. Finding Dory, he voiced Gerald. Gerald no, no, right. Gerald's friend. So there were three oh, seals. Okay. Two of them are like, like this. Right, right, Idris right. Elba's voice right. It's nice and deep, and it's so silky. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love it. And then Gerald <laughs> comes up, and he's um, not all there. <laughs> That's yeah, that'd be me. I would chill out on the rock as long as I could. I also like when they fight because all they do is just mm-hmm. like slam their bodies together like, mm-hmm. <clears throat> over and over again. We could try to do that for an oddity. Fight like a seal and we'll just wrap each other up in bubble wrap and then. I don't hate it. It's not the worst. You've it's said worse word. things. I've had way worse ideas. <laughs> like on a daily still basis. Have to do um, colored twister. Oh, that's a fun one. You ever heard of that? No. You I got pour, the name wrong. You pour, so. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, but you pour uh, paint on the dots on Twister so that when you, it like, gets messy and you put paint all over but each other. But you wear other. all white. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you do that too. You guys have crazy ideas. Thank you. <laughs> We're breaking down the barriers here as SourceFed. I still think the best paintball scene <laughs> in any movie is 10 Things I Hate About You. I don't. But there was a continuity flaw in that because they were started off all fresh and then all of a sudden covered in paint and I was like, well, what? just <laughs> editing. Mm-hmm. Question. Wait, what kind of fish? You gotta be specific. Just like a fish. If you had to pick a color scheme for A this tuna! Fish. Oh, wow. It's I not a delicious. tuna. I don't, don't want to be a tuna. No. Be Maybe like... Just like one of the... I'd get one of those little lights on the top of my head. Ooh, those ugly guys. It'd make it easier for reading. An angel reading. fish. Mm-hmm. An angel fish. Angler. Angle. Angles. An angle fish. I don't know anything right now. about fish. I don't know what kind of fish that is. But you are. wanted this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like, because they're, you know. Back it up. They're going to a good life. But He's swimming in the wrong direction. I just want to be all of them. <laughs> all, all of, of them the combined. Fish. A little thing. Of... Or each time you turn, you turn into a different one. So you get a different fish there experience. There you go. Cool. Yeah. Done. That's, cool. mm-hmm. That's it. I'd also do octopus so I could shape shift. <laughs> That's what they do when they shape shift. You ever watched a put to a clip of oh, octopus? Right, right, right. They do. Oh, there it is. They, they, kind of they can like change their that. texture and their colors right. and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah, think yeah. that's they, really cool. Like the little chameleon. Jared J. Roos says on the YouTubes, he commented on a video which you can too using the hashtag table talk and get your question in. If you could pick the way the world ends, what would you pick? Oh, wow. Also, when you just did that plug, I realized I don't remember doing the intro. <laughs> I'm a little tired. Oh, I, I don't remember. Helium? Yeah, I don't remember yeah, doing helium. it. And your lips turned blue. Yeah. And I got really <laughs> scared. Don't do helium, kids. That's a big lesson. Today. I thought it was a um, an attempt, like a what's that kid who got Wendy Pe- Peppercorns, like you know, oh, quick CPR. Oh, in Sandlot. I was like, Far out, man. I love Sandlot. What if this happened and you passed out? And I was just like, here we go. I wouldn't. I would want Andres to do it. He seems like the one who'd know it to Go do. on, I want to see this thing. No, I'm not going to make Andreas, him do that. can you perform CPR on Sam just to see if you can? I'm not, I don't need to be resuscitated though, so we're okay. Don't you? <laughs> no, no, no. But if, if the world ended, yeah. if the world ended. If the world was ending, would you let Andreas give you CPR? That's not going to help the situation. That's true. <laughs> but wouldn't it be a nice way to go out? Uh, there's a lot of, no offense. I was giving you a compliment and you're on your phone! <laughs> oh look, he's on his phone again! <laughs> wow, what are you like looking at? What are you texting? Who are you texting? And what's really, what's going Give on? Give us the juicy deets. Oh. <laughs> Rub it in. <laughs> you guys are cute. You were at dinner the other night. It was really sweet. What? I love going to They were at dinner, dinner the other night. The both of him and his girlfriend. How do you know? Because I, di- I was at the dinner. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, you were not there anyways. <laughs> but how would the world end? I would want it to go out in a way that we don't see coming. I want it to happen in like a split second and to be over like yeah. after that. I want it to not be painful. I want it to involve some kind of sea life because that's a big theme of this episode. <laughs> I want like something to happen with that. All this is huge. It's just Sharknado, but one big one and it just eats the globe. That's the that would, look, <laughs> the globe. The that that globe. would look amazing from space. Looking uh-huh. down and be like, is that... Oh, what it's a gone. shark! And yeah. then the shark forming a sharknado Just disappears, Psh. eating the world. The whole thing yeah. in a in a <laughs> one big bite. <laughs> Why well the world ending? Mm-hmm. What would I pick? If you're going with sharknado, you know, like those deaths where 
I saw it in, I can't believe I watched Pixels. I'd want I it do. to rain fish and everybody kind of <laughs> falls asleep. You've had your fish. time. Oh, no, we were uh, wait, wait, working wait, wait. morning. People fall asleep under, under the, the fish. fish as it rains down. That would be like, like, they fall hell. asleep <laughs> and then the world is over and then they wake up and no, they're like, no, we're they, covered in no, these No, they like fish. fall asleep and they're, they're oh. gone after that. Take a... Uh, animator, please people show to, people what I you mean. You want people to die under dead fish <laughs> Dude, falling from the sky. That's all I got. I think everyone okay. should miss out. So, you know, like those um, those deaths on TV where it's supernatural and they're like, ah, and they see their hands and they're like, and they kind of go to mist. Like turn the year a little dust. I think everyone should just mist out. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's the world ending. And they like, what, they like freeze in place and then mist out and then they're gone? No, I think it all just happens as we're talking. It seems pretty painful, though. No, it doesn't. How? You're I, misting. <laughs> you're just saying it like concrete, like it happens a lot. <laughs> it's, it looks painful. If I were But to the be word mist up, in itself is so harmless. It, but also you can say disintegrate. Actually, I haven't seen The Mist. But it's a Stephen King thing, isn't it's it? It's an amazing movie. And I'm pretty sure that was frightening. It's a really good movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That movie will not make you feel better about life. Butter. It will depress you. I don't feel you. butter anyway, mate. Mm -hmm. Never I just saw eat the stuff. it. I'm sorry. I don't mean to pull you out to... No, actually, I want this one. You want this one? Yeah. Where are you going? Stop, boo. I'm going to hit you. Go for it. It's my turn anyway. Ooh, you're taking it. Ooh. You you're... know what? This is a... This is... Oh, I've not made the... I've not... Nah, you didn't get it. Did it close? It was did close. It hit? Nah, it did. Nah, nah. From your angle, it looks straight. Nah. I was on. No, nah, you didn't get it, it looks though. But your good. angle it was shy a little. Does it just look shy? We got a lot of pretty did goods. I've been doing it for two years, and I've never it. gotten it, but oh, I've gotten real close. No, I don't know. We gotta be fair. But I was excited. I was excited for you. I didn't show up, but what? I was like, oh. Oh, that's you. She's excited. She's got it. Oh, dang. I think she got it. But I was like trying to keep it cool. I was like, but I don't want Sam to know because he's like, I almost got it all the time. You know, I was like, I gotta. Be, I think she remembered it differently. Sam impersonation. There was two of you. You were like, I got clothes a lot of times. I've been doing this for two years. That's about right. I'm sorry. I might be a little bitter. I'm sorry. Are you even in the book? Red. No. No, my name's in it. Maybe. Red Herring. One month ago writes, "What's your least favorite body part and why? What's your least favorite body part and why? Feet." Not a big feet guy. Not I, feet guy. I'm not a fan of my own feet. Never seen a pair of feet that I'm like. Ugh. Yeah, feet, That's got them together. feet are gross. Yeah. They're yeah, never like, right. if they were hands down there, I think that'd be a, a little bit cooler and more functional. Oh, I've got these freaky extra bones in my mouth. What the hell? Oh, yeah, you've said that before. Yeah. Yeah. She got those. Oh, I had a, uh, I had teeth in the roof of my mouth years ago. What? Happened? And now they're my canine teeth. But they, they pushed they, them? They had to uncover them with surgery, put wire on them, and pull them forward slowly over time. Where were they before? In the roof. Ow. And they were like, you're, so I lost both of these teeth, and they were like, well, they're not, or I had baby teeth until I was like 13, and they were like, oh. They've got to go. they got to go, and so then it turned out. So they weren't wow. budging. The adult teeth were in the. Behind it. Yeah. Because they were like ready to go in, and baby teeth were like, no. So they were like backed up. Like there and then behind it in the yeah. Room. Wow. I don't know if you guys. Crazy. Did you ever meet Christy? Who she she used to work here. She had a mm. tooth that grew in sideways down what? here in her jaw, and it was like they had to go in surgery and like yank it and do something with it. I'm getting my wisdom teeth out next week. You Woo! waited a long time to get those out. It, well, I am 24. Oh, true. <laughs> that is quite a long time. Could I get away with 24 though? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah. Ricky said. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I don't know how old you are, and I say, yeah, girl. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm, well, I'm 26. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, yeah. I'm just thinking about getting married at 24. Should mm. we tell her? Should we no. tell her? You can tell her if you like. It's I'm all 30. up to you. Yeah. That's good. That's a good age, and you don't look like it. That's good. <laughs> I love the age 30. <laughs> Hey, why do you love it? You guys put me on the spot. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> good. I, I wish I could get away with 30. Do I look 30? I need honest answers from everyone in the audience. No. On three, ready? One, two, three. No. no. 
I that assume it didn't need to happen now that I think about it. <laughs> you don't look everyone, I assume everyone is 25 because I'm always hanging out with people older than me. Mm. I'm 25. And so I'm always like, everyone around me is 25. Better. Everybody here right now, I think everybody in this room is 25. Like, that's that's fair. right. I'm pretty sure every it's a single good age. one of us. Except for that eager guy behind the 25. camera, he's definitely not 25. <laughs> I'm just glad we've like opened up about this that we are all 25. Everybody here. I everybody feel better here. about saying everyone is just 25 whoa, whoa. <laughs> Thank you for laughing. <laughs> you got JD. JD's reaction was, <laughs> it was so brilliant. Like you're personally offended. Oh, like I really hurt you. <laughs> okay. What if we look up and there was a clean hole through his body? And he's like, oh, like stop overreacting. And he's like slowly dying. That might, I could maybe get it. to put my name in the book, even if I didn't hit the lens. <laughs> Death toll. Yeah. One. Thanks to Sam. Mm -hmm. All right. Isaiah's. Ponce, what is the deepest quote you have heard from a fictional character? I gotta say, I am not like a quote, like I can't uh. remember quotes from movies or and stuff or from books, so I'm like, yeah. listen you guys, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have two, yeah. one is from the Flash. My boy. What is he, what is he saying? It's uh, actually, yeah, it was. Um, it's actually my phone background. I really like it. It's uh, life is locomotion. If you're not moving, you're not living. And sometimes something about it, it, keep moving forward because even if you don't know where you're going, you'll figure it out as you go. I'm getting it's the like fucking Ferris quote Bueller wrong. as well. I, I miss quite everything that I try to get my mouth around. But mm -hmm. um, something like Ferris Bueller said. What? Oh, come on. Who's old? Oh, no, you're all 25. I know what Ferris Bueller's <laughs> day off is. Was... Joel, I need you right now. What's the problem? Ferris Bueller, life's like, if you don't look life around. Life moves pretty quick. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you're going to miss it. Thank you. I knew I could count on you. I would not have done that justice. So thank you for my yeah. lifeline. Mm -hmm. That. I like that. That's I'm a good 25. one. 25. Yeah, We're okay. all 25. 25. Everybody's 25. <laughs> the I look that Joel just did then is like. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen uh, Charlie Chaplin in The Great Dictator? No. Me neither. But I know the one part where he quotes, it's, it's like his famous quote from yep. The Great Dictator, and it's everyone <laughs> posts on Facebook every like three months, but it's very good. It's very what is good. it? He talks about like, uh, we feel too much, or we think too much and feel too little. No, I'm the uh, opposite. I don't think enough. You just mean like society in a general way. No, I'm making this about me. No, oh, that's good. That's a good way to. <laughs> that's I a good feel, way to think I about feel it. I that that uh -huh. should be okay. Uh, that's fair. But I didn't think enough mm -hmm. before I started talking, and now I'm emotional. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, you got it, man. <laughs> that's why I have tissues. I'm ready to go. But I got a question for you. <laughs> got a present for you. Mm -hmm. What? Thank you for coughing into the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I have a stitch from laughing. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your What was your question? Oh, you th I see my hand. I thought you actually had something to ask. Mm -hmm. No, Acosta. Never met her. Malachi. What was the first Nicolas Cage movie you watched? <laughs> but they didn't see it. Damn. Oh, I'm sorry. It missed. The mm -hmm. first National, ca National <laughs> Cage movie I ever watched. National Cage Day. Was mm -hmm. Nicholas Treasure. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's National a really Treasure, good one. pretty sure. Mm -hmm. It actually is a really good movie, and I really enjoy it. Me Diane, too. Kru Diane Kruger? As well as in that? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Joshua Jackson's wife. Yep. Or no, ex they now. broke up. They broke I don't up. Yeah. This. I retain. Breakups are hard. They are hard, and I really feel bad for both of them. But National Treasure was one of my favorite movies like, so, for a long time. I still, I, I mean, I probably watched it last year, but now I want to watch it tonight. I love it. It's well, so good. good. It's just like a solid movie. It is. It has, it's like a little funny. It's like. Oh, what's going to happen? It's lighthearted. It's, it's got light a good mystery. But then it gets serious. And you get Sean Bean, and Sean Does Bean's great. No, he doesn't die in this what one. The? Spoilers. He doesn't die in this That's one. It's a <laughs> Disney movie, too, so there's yeah. not really any high stakes. What if he did, and you just didn't know? He just died quietly off screen. That's the only mm -hmm. movie I've ever played a drinking game with, and it's really fun. What, the, what are the conditions? Whenever they walk into some kind of monument, whenever they find a clue, oh. whenever Nick Cage starts shouting, whenever a gun pops up, uh, and Did whenever I they say it? Declaration of Independence, because they say it <laughs> a lot in that movie. Uh, why? It, because there's a map on the back of the Declaration of Independence. Does that movie really mean nothing to Honestly, anybody else that's not in America? And I'm noticing during the Olympics as well. Everyone's like, yeah, America, go America. I was just like, well, that's the country. you know what we do? 
pretty good stuff in Australia as well. We have fast swimmers. Yeah, yeah but we've got faster. <laughs> so, uh, it's not a competition. Actually, it's the world's yeah. biggest competition. Yeah. <laughs> so. But it's just like. But also, it's our, you're in the, the country, so we're going to. Oh my like, gosh. Cheer and guys, can I just say that the way that you guys show the Olympics and the way that I'm used to seeing the Olympics, very biased. But, uh, what? In what I'm way? Show the Americans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get any kind of news on what's happening back there. Oh, I'm <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, man. I'm sorry. But what was that? Torpedo? He's in there. Torpedo. Torpedo. In Thorpe. His name is Thorpe. And we use the Thorpe for Torpedo. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, I've never heard it be Torpedo. Nah. We've called him Torpedo this entire time because we don't even know his name. This guy is an Australian hero. He came out of the closet. Ian, good on you. Oh, that's cool. Yes. He's got big feet. He's got big feet. Didn't mean to go there. <laughs> Took it there. But incidentally. But that's why he was so fast, because he's got flippers, you know? Con Air. That's the first Nick Cage movie what I saw. What was the Nick Cage movie that made Nick one. Cage Nick Cage? Like, what Con Air is probably one of those movies that made him no, like, Will. wait. <laughs> Will always say that. It's definitely national treasure. We, oh, that's what she said. He then. stopped being a person after that. <laughs> What's the movie that Nick Cage became like? Raising uh, Arizona? Raising Arizona. Anybody say Raising Arizona? Don't know about anything. I don't know what face that off? movie is. Face Off. Face Off is a good one. Wow. Yeah. Face, face Off. off. Face, yeah, off. face Off. Face Off. I'm face learning off. that all I've seen is national treasure. <laughs> 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 I like the snake, snake Eyes. Snake Bite. Snake Eyes. Snake. Snake Eyes. Black Snake Moan. No, the snake movie with him. Guys, no one's snakes here to help. on a plane? Snakes on a plane? Is we're going with snakes on a plane. No, it's not. It's snake Eyes. Is he even in that movie? No, he's not. Oh. Samuel Jackson's in there and no. Joel, I'm so else. sorry. I'm just, I can't rely on the nine other people that are in the room not knowing the answer. What's the problem? What Nick Cage movie has snake in it? Snake Eyes? Snake in. Snake, snake Eyes? Or snake... Oh, Gone in 60 Seconds? No. There you go. I think that's what it is. It's Gone in 60 oh, Seconds. Thank snake you. Eyes. Oh, it's called Snake Eyes. That was Eyes. a really clever it, movie it was, it was about a rigged boxing match, which I thought was quite good. You should all probably well, watch she it. She spoiled the movie, so I don't even need to watch it anymore. Oh, that's true. Oh, well, interesting. I have to provide a premise. Oh, okay. I don't oh, have to. You threw it over here. Over here. Oh, mm -hmm. I almost got your snot on me. <laughs> it was exciting. So lucky. <laughs> Hell, population you. What? Hell, population you. You is how I'm taking that. <laughs> well, not I'm asking it, so now it's you. Sorry, don't shoot the messenger. How did you ask someone out for the first time, or how did you get asked out for the first time? Oh, two stories. Did you, have you guys ever ask anybody out? The first, I, I asked someone out before I got asked out. Mm -hmm. Maud was a very innocent 11-year-old and mm -hmm. realized that she had a crush on Nick. Nick had braces and dimples, the only two things that Maud liked in a guy. Aww. And she'd heard for weeks that Nick had a crush on her. So she walked up to him with confidence and said, Nick, do you want to be my boyfriend? And he said, oh, I think you're really great, but I've got a girlfriend. So I kicked him in the dick and ran away. <laughs> that seems like an overreach. There's an applause and nod. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> That's how I handle projection. Kick him. Swift one, too, and I bolted. Wait, like, did he, did he deserve that? No. No. Nick, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I think I ran into him at the supermarket when I was back on um, on a trip. And he and slowly, I was like, like put his hand and he's down. Like, Lord. And I was like, I'm really sorry for kicking you in the balls. And he's like, what? I was like, nothing, never. Hope you well, <laughs> bye. <laughs> yeah. And what was the first time you got asked out? Oh, hi, Ryan. Um, <laughs> I was 11. Mm. <laughs> I was the first girl in primary school to be to go on a date with a boy. Wow. Right, big moves. Um, mm -hmm. We went and saw Men in Black in the cinema, the which is one? impossible because I'm 25. Oh, uh, um, true, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he bought me a Tamagotchi after our date and a bunch of flowers, and I wanted to give him a kiss on the cheek so bad, but I couldn't because I was like, I don't know. You dated yourself into an interesting time period by both of those references. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Big things that happened in 1991. Oh, okay. When I was born. More, um, yeah, wait, we're 25? Yeah, then we're yeah, all yeah, night. Yeah, we're yeah, in 1991. Right, guys? Interesting. I feel like I've never been straight up asked out. <laughs> it just kind of happens? Like you yeah, kinda... you're just like, let's hang out. And then you're like, okay. Have you ever had the, I want to take you to dinner? No. Have you ever asked, I want to take you to dinner? I've never said those words. <laughs> you said, do you want to go out? Or you said, do you want to go steady? Yeah. I think I asked, I asked this guy once last year and he worked at Starbucks and then the date went bad and now I can't go back to that Starbucks. Yeah. Damn. Damn. But that's fine. Like what bad, bad or kind of like... Uh, it was just like... Is I he still like, there? He's still at the Starbucks? I don't know. Oh, I haven't gone since. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
That's fair. Um, yeah, I think my first, like, date, but we didn't, like, say it was a date, was this guy that took me to get bagels at, like, freshman year of high school. Shit. That's dope. 13. How 14. Was it good? Was it, it was fine. No. It was a good bagel. <laughs> Uh, Vegas a highlight. I uh, got asked out when I was 15 by a girl, like, to be, like, my girlfriend. And uh, mainly because I was very nervous to ask her out. And she was like, I'm tired of waiting. And then she came and drove up to my house and held a sign up. And I was like, will you be my boyfriend? And then, yeah, and then we went to a dance. And we broke up, like, a month later because we were we just didn't have anything to talk about. Yeah. Yeah, which is a bummer. Wait, you asked, she asked you to be her boyfriend before you even, like, knew each other? No, we knew each other for a long time. And, oh, like, so you get to a yeah. next step in a relationship. Right, no. Then you're just like, oh my gosh, we're spending one-on-one -on -one time together. Yeah. And right. mm -hmm. I remember I had a list of questions when I would talk to a guy on the phone. Wow. Yes, right. because I just didn't want, I didn't want dead air. I didn't oh. want to have nothing to talk about. Oh. And these kind of questions, while having a conversation with a teenage Maud Garrett, was riveting stuff. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite color? Wow. <laughs> What's your favorite TV show? What kind of conversation spread out of that, those, you think? Blue. It's a great color. <laughs> I have to agree with you. I think blue really does provide quite the aesthetic, beaming look of color. The When I finally was able to like, get the cojones to ask a girl out, I asked her out. We went and saw a movie, and like every time a trailer would play, I'd be like, <laughs> do you want some popcorn? No, no, no. Oh, that was too much that? talking. That was too much talking. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't do that. I was like, <laughs> and she would do the same. And then after, I was like, I guess, I guess her boyfriend and girlfriend now. And oh. she's like, no, we're not. And I was like, oh. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> that's, that's my fault. It's my fault. <laughs> it was nice and embarrassing. <laughs> and after, I was like, you like the movie? And she's like, yeah, it was good. And I was like, yeah, good. <laughs> it was very, man, I, if I had to sit in a room with my past self, it would be Dead silent. Shame. What are <laughs> like, you just doing? fucking talk. You have so many things to say. Yes. Just say them and breathe. <laughs> just breathe and talk. Sitting there red. Yeah. From holding your breath. Mm -hmm. For just, fear of making. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Cut your hair. Throw a picture up. I know you gotta cut your hair. Uh, editors, I know you have those pictures cut up. The, the, if you Shout Google out to search the, me, like my two of my high school swim photos pop up, yeah. and the hair is just down to here. There's a Twitter, um, rough. Twitter account I believe dedicated to swim school Sam. They used to edit me into swim things. Swim squad Sam. Mm -hmm. So that's three times fast. Swim squad Sam. <laughs> yep, <got it> <laughs> Here, I'll ask this last question because it's a good <laughs> short one. Uh, Salma441 on YouTube writes, uh, rate your math abilities on a scale of 1 to 10. 1. 1. D minus every year. <laughs> I'm going to say a 5 and a half. Oh, psh. I, oh, I got psh. maths. I, I understood it. But I didn't enjoy it. There's I a difference. No understand understanding it. on my end. Mm -hmm. I was dating this guy and I was like trying to tell him, I was like, I am bad at math. And he's like, I can teach you. And we like sat down and he like wrote down a long division problem. And I was like, yeah, I don't even know where to start. And I was like trying and he's like, oh, you, you are really bad at math. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, like, I'm not going to lie. Like, oh no, Just I'm being really real bad with at you. math. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Not trying to be cute anyway, about it. Anyway, I'm like, bad at math. <laughs> That's it. I uh, took me a lot. It took me a good while to get up to pre-calc, and that was like the that was where most sophomores were at in my school. So oh. that was senior year. Really good at science. Really good at history. Yeah. English pretty good. Math not my jam. Not I my jam at science. all. Science is the shit. So the men in my family, my father and my two brothers, they are all math heads. Mm -hmm. And I remember my brother was doing matrix math, which was second university math when he was like 14 or 15. And one time, ah, best story. I was like, mate, what are you doing? And he's scribbling on a bit of paper. And he's like, oh, I'm just trying to figure out how fast a plane has to fly to constantly be flying in daylight. And I was like, I'm going to do anything else. Yeah. Anything else. I'm going to go for a walk. You go so ahead and stay there. <laughs> compared to them, mm -hmm. math, not great. But I have quick, so quick, fast oh. number additions. Good work. <laughs> what were you, you saying? I was going to say I failed math in eighth grade on purpose so I didn't have to take a harder math class in my freshman year so then I wouldn't have to take a really hard class my senior year. That's a really far ahead Sort plan. of. I mean, I kind of already was failing, but then I was like, I don't want to fix it. So then I kind of was just like, yeah, I'll just Just fail. deal with it. You know, you're like, I got a lot of other things going on in my life. I'm good with this. You set an expectation. You're just like, you know what? It could be here, but I'm only willing to go this far with it. Right. And that's your expectation that you set. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, that's... You saw it through. Yeah. You're you being dedicated. You. And I'm not, a, and I didn't, now I don't have to do math ever again. 
What's uh, seven plus twenty-one? It's wow, guys. Twenty-eight. Come on. There it is. Man, 28. we got it. Yeah, we got there. <laughs> That's all that matters, guys. What's the best math problem you can figure out? Write it down in the comments down below, and we will not <coughs> be able to figure it out. <laughs> What's pi? Three point one four one five nine two six five three. All right, there's a nerd at the table. Two, three, but while she read, oh, that's all you had. I thought you were going to go on forever. I thought you knew like to Imagine. 100. Imagine. If you had it to 100, I'm, I'd I be really impressed. I usually could do to 22, but I think I just did 17. I'm sorry. Only to 17. Don't but, look uh, at me. I'm hideous. Guys, make sure you write down your math problems in the comments down below or tweet it to us. You're not going to get an answer, really. It's not going to be good. But thanks again to our sponsor, Full Sail University. They sponsor this episode. They're awesome. Make sure you check them out, fullsail.edu slash sourcefed. If you make don't sure want to do math, that. maybe you can do video game. There you go. Yeah. You can learn how to code. That's really fun. Uh, Candice, where can they find you? You can find me on uh, youtube.com slash Hunan Penguin and at Candace Sucks nice. on Twitter. Candace Sucks. Where is you? I'm Lord Garrett. This is my first and last name. No other plugs? Geek Bomb. I have there a YouTube you account. There you go. I do videos. Oh, plug. we shot a video. We did. Sam and I read fan fiction about each other to each other. It was really weird. <laughs> it, was really, it was really weird. But you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Sam Basher. That's super easy. The name's on the screen, probably. Or you can listen to Only Stupid Answers. It's a podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes. Uh, talk about nerdy stuff, and you can hear me uh, just make uh, sounds for You're an hour. You're doing a good job at the moment, too. Thank you. I've been That's able to fill up all the space of this conversation with at least sounds, mainly <laughs> words. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm great on dates. Guys, thank you so much. Make sure you send us your questions on YouTube using the hashtag Table Talk or Twitter or Reddit. There's a little post on there. You can post them there. Brand and we'll new ones them. to make them good. We'll read them on the show. I'm Sam. Candace. Mo. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye. This is pretty janky. This is ridiculous. I like it. What's his name? Petunia. And his name is Walter. Walter. We barely used any of the tools.